few soldiers joined the army to work aboard ships. But utilizing army boats on Virginia's vast amount of rivers, bays, and inland waterways is one way that Virginia National Guard soldiers can train and prepare for natural disasters. Well, as, as you can see from the background, uh, pretty much all of Hampton and Tidewater is surrounded by a wide variety of, of, of different uh, water bodies. I mean, the Hampton Roads, the James, the, the York River, uh, uh, the Elizabeth. And if any of these uh, major arteries, like the Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel or the Monster Merrimack, should be destroyed from a natural disaster, uh, first thing they're going to look for is the boats. The 1098 Transportation Detachment from Fort Eustis, Virginia, provided five landing craft for the joint exercise. National Guard soldiers from the Hampton Base Headquarters Battery, 1st Battalion, 111 Field Artillery, drove eight Humvees onto the boats. Anytime I can get out on the water is fun. Being able to have familiarity with these type of landing craft, which could be used uh, in the event of an emergency uh, with the surf P mission that we have, is definitely beneficial. After loading all of the Humvees, the vessel sailed from Naval Amphibious Base Little Creek across a portion of the Chesapeake Bay and landed at Fort Monroe. You can see that uh, you know, in order to get to and from Norfolk, uh, from, uh, from the peninsula, if you had a Category 5 hurricane come through this area, there would not be a bridge standing. One by one, the landing craft convoy dropped their doors and allowed their Humvee cargo to drive back onto land. Like I mentioned before, it's uh, just one of those opportunities where to use an Army asset and the National Guard training together because in times of disaster, we would all be in one team. So whether by land, air, or by sea, the National Guard trains to be ready. For the Virginia National Guard, I'm Army Sergeant John Slosser.